Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Locker Room. Got some keys to victory for you here right now. I need you all to subscribe. Just pause the button, go over the little button and press that thing. And guess what? It doesn't hurt you at all. And it helps the boys quite a bit. Also, comment. Now it is the spooky season. So let's put a pumpkin in that thing. Let's feel good about it. That way we hack the algorithm and we're feeling fantastic. And to go along with the pumpkin boys, we are in the beginning of spooky season, 31 days of fright, ghouls, goblins, and specters all around. I need you to buy into the spook. And what's more spooky than betting with the boys. All right, we're betting and riding all day long. And this is the show for you. Bring it over here for a second. I want to show you while we talk, before we talk bets, I want to talk to you about Spooktober. This now for sale, store.barstoolsports.com. This also for sale in a different color. Yeah, you're right. It's the same shirt. And then finally, a third option. Now there's one more thing. Bring it this way just a second. Thank you. Thank you. Call of Fame. Now I know we got a lot of sex appeal here with your boy sitting in a, a cold tub. A lot, a lot of color shames going on. This might be the week for people to buy in, put a costume on, give us a parlay and let the boys ride with you so your beautiful face can end up right here. We're gonna have a hell of a day. Let's get after it. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Let's have a show. Welcome to the locker room. Before we get started, here's how this show lays out. The first half we'll be doing NFL, back half we'll be doing college football. We'll be hitting some headliners like, uh, you know, is Jaden Daniels the real deal? Delaney doesn't think so. He'll let you know why. Is Sam Darnold in the MVP conversation? We'll hit game of the week, rapid fire, ballsy pick, bet the boys parlay. Then we'll go into our college. We'll talk some headlines. Michigan's on the coast. They're underdogs at Washington. We talk about if Ryan Williams, a freshman wide receiver at Alabama, could he play in the NFL? Delaney Walker tells you why he doesn't think so. And then we'll go through trophy game of the week, rapid fire, and we will end it with the fan call-in segment. But boys, welcome to the locker room, which is presented by Fireball Whiskey. Fireball is the perfect shot for game day. Whether you're buying those sneaky little shooters before going into the stadium, or going big with the fireball keg for your tailgate, whether it's a pregame shot in the tailgate lot or a celebratory touchdown shot at the bar. No matter what, it's guaranteed to ignite your game day. Fellas, the boys are back. We're back on set. We're back. We're in Chicago. We were in Chicago last week. We're so back. In Chicago last week. Apologies to everybody. Yes, we did not have the video, the video version up, but the boys are back. Delaney's back. Taylor's back. We're all back. We're in the locker room. It's spooky season. What'd you do today? Day two, Spooktober. Day two, Spooktober. Well, have you, it's gotten, very, a, have you it's, gotten a pumpkin pie latte like your no, boy? it's very early. Actually, my first coffee just came in this uh, Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th mm. mug. Got that at Spirit Halloween yesterday. No free shouts to Spirit Halloween. But um, no, I have not gotten into the spirit of as of day two. Yesterday, I had a double header in spooky shows. I saw shows. that. And, and Talon brought up the uh, Treehouse of Horror. And I was yeah. like, what a classic. Mm. But what I'm fired up about, obviously, I'm fired up to do this show. But Delaney, I know as soon as the show's over, you and I are in that cave yeah. and we're putting on some fucked up stuff. Yeah, some things some. that are like, why, why are we watching this? I got things. some fucked up shit. I know you do. You're a messed Super. up cat. Yeah. yeah have yeah. you decorated? No, I'm not a decorating kind but of But you guy. have to. You have we're to. going to embrace Spooktober. The four simple rules. One, October is now Spooktober. Two, you have to watch a spooky something every single day. It could be Halloween Town or it could literally be the exorcism, anything in between. Yes. Three, you have to celebrate every single week by doing something. That could be a pumpkin patch. That could be a haunted house. Once those sorts of things. And oh, then yeah, finally, four, decorate. And it, dude, it doesn't have Just to put be- put a pumpkin on your porch. Right. I'm, in a, I'm, on, I, I'm at a rental. Like, Just put I don't a pumpkin wanna... hey, on your porch. Pumpkin on the porch. So, you know, I mean, you know, I could do And that. listen, I literally had a guy over at my house yesterday and I'm spending thousands of dollars on decorating this year. Yeah. Thousands of dollars. Why? It's not about me. It's about my children. It's Indeed. about people that drive by my house and they go, what? Yeah. And then they, find, they feel weird about it. And the farther they drive away, they're like, maybe I need to do that too. So they do something as simple as a pumpkin, but they'll drive past again and they'll add a little bit more. I'm just trying to get the city of Nashville to buy into Spooktober in a way no one's ever seen. We had the greatest day one of Spooktober we've ever had. 
had the greatest day. Pumpkin spice lattes yesterday, spirit Halloween yesterday, decorated the entire office yesterday, you watched day. multiple I spooks oh, yesterday. Yeah, a little blood splatter behind you. And yeah. Will did a great job with the splatter. That's his splatter he put there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's his. He's Will splatter. splattered all over the yeah, studio for you. That yeah, looked like a, a glob for sure. Yeah, he globbed all over the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. up to you to also do that no, in your I'm, house. I mean, you know, once my house is built, we I'm definitely going all in craziness right, right. Trust but me. you're also really really old so you don't know if you're going to make it into that house you need to you need to decorate <laughs> you now. should say that because a lot of athletes just die right I, now. well listen i'm looking out for you <laughs> i was an athlete too oh, don't but jinx me. you're like 40. how old are you 33 dude oh i thought you was 37. no i'm young 37. <laughs> yeah, I was 37. he's saying you look pretty old that's all right dude <laughs> there might be a little bit of trailer stars and yeah i haven't shaved my beard in a week it looks yeah. like pubic hair, but guess what? Spooky. I thought you came in like right after me. That's all. No, you were like you're nah, 40 no, already in the league by the time I came in. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'll get it. I'll get it going. I'll get it going. You know, I'll I need I need photos out. from you. Yeah, yeah. I'll get something going. Pumpkin. So I may just put the lights up. You know how the, like the lights at night, the house. That's all you need. Dog, yeah, yeah, that. that shit is crazy. That. Yeah, I may just, just go get we that. We have a, you know what? I don't need to get into, do you just want to get into Thursday Night Football? People are here Before here. Thursday Night Football, at least say what my percentage was last week. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I just, you know the uh, old saying. I had a hot is, hand. I had a hot hand last week. The old saying, C's get degrees. Will Compton, 70% on his bets last week. He went 14, 114, lost six, 14 and six last week. That may Incredible. be the first time you ever done that. Incredible. That's all right. no, now saying. you only have to be young. above what, Steven? It's 52% to be uh, profitable? Yeah. 52 and a half. I, With I that being said, Delaney, go and tell me what I was last week. I thought week. y'all said 40 something. Now we're saying 52. How could you be 40% in bets and be profitable? 49%. That's still less. <laughs> It's still less than half. What was my percentage last week? <laughs> Yours was 57%. 57%. Let's give another round of applause for that. Not as good as Will Compton, but hey, we're still making money. We're making money. Who you got? Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, Tim Delaney's last week. But Delaney, Delaney, was, Delaney, was, Delaney, Delaney was two weeks ago. Could, yeah. was on your Delaney sheet. wasn't part of it last week. Two weeks ago, he was 39%, but we all know Delaney. We love him. God loves him. Um, I don't get it. But hey, week know, five. Week it, five. Hey, that's when does. I kick in. Week five so is when I kick in. So this is the week you kick in. This is when I kick in. All right, in. let us know how you feel Thursday night football. Bucks at Falcons. Falcons one and a half point favorites. The over under on this game is forty three and a half. I'm glad you came to me. I'm really glad you came to me first because you know I'm going with the Bucks, baby. Got to go with the Bucks. Baker Mayfield looked it good going against. I mean, they whooped on the Eagles so bad. I feel like they got a high horse right now. They're going to feed off of that. They're going to come in, put them hands on them Falcons. So I'm going with the Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield ain't going to let me down, baby. I, I mean, I agree with you. I think their offense is very balanced. Their defense is playing well. Um, but Baker Mayfield being able to throw in the pocket, outside of the pocket, it's like they're so balanced. You got, you got Mike Evans. You got Chris Godwin. Yep. You got Trey Palmer. Great receiving Great core. Great receiving core. Great receiving core. Great receiving they can court. run the ball a little bit. They haven't really gotten going yet in the run game. But it's one of those things, too. Like, when you have a, a, a dominant pass, pass offense, in. you have to play a lot more like two shell. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that way you can take away, you know, different weapons that they have. The one thing that Baker is able to do when teams that are going to be going to probably adapting more uh, to two shell is he's able to escape. His escapability – and again, being able to actually run it mm-hmm. and throw it on the run. I feel like he's playing at a high level. He's confident. He's talking shit. I love this game, and I love the Bucks plus one and a half against Atlanta. Falcons, man, like Kirk's still trying to figure it out. It doesn't feel like he's completely there yet. That entire offense isn't completely there yet. Like, yeah, they put up 20-something last week, but one was off of a, a special teams touchdown yeah. and a defensive touchdown. Yeah. So I just feel like the Bucks. this is a – this is a good spot for them. I'm going I'm Tampa Bay. Yeah, I mean, both teams coming off big wins, especially the Falcons who hit a 58-yard field goal with two seconds left in the game to yeah. go win it all. A little stat for you guys. Falcons have failed to cover the spread in their last seven games when they are favored against NFC teams. Falcons have failed. Failed, failed to cover the, the last, spread when they're favored against NFC, NFC teams. The last seven times. The last seven times. But – Hey, hey. That bank. All right, you like that? Like Each that. of the Falcons' last seven Thursday night games have gone under in total points, so that's where my bet lies. I think the – You're going under Wait, I'm going 43 under, and a half. I'm so going you, under 43 and a half. I think Tampa Bay, as great as they played against the Eagles, there's – I'm still – I love Baker Mayfield. He might be my favorite player in the entire NFL right now. I love yeah. the attitude. I like the savviness, the yeah. moxie, whatever you want to call Over it. Over Derrick Henry? 
Yeah. I mean, just talking about because he Derek's been my favorite for a while. Yeah. So if you were to get married, he would Baker would be in your wedding over Derek. I don't know Baker like he don't, that. Yeah, yeah. I he, don't know if Derek would be in my wedding. He probably oh. wouldn't come. Yeah. <laughs> he probably would not come. You're right. Yeah, yeah, but he I would have an invite for sure. Yeah. He would have an invite for sure. <laughs> I think this is an this is an under game. I think Tampa Bay is really good. However, with the fa- that Falcon stat, dude, last seven Thursday night games have gone under in total points. It's an NFC South game. They've known each other. They've played each other for a long time. Both teams understand the strengths and weaknesses of both. A lot of times you find yourself in an under in that situation, so I'm going to go under in this game. I don't know. I'm going to – yeah. You guys feel good? Oh, yeah. I'm going Bucks. Who wants to go – yeah, I'm going Bucks. I'm going Bucks. Game of the week. Who wants to start with their game of the week? I'm going to go game of the week. I'll go game of the week. Uh, I got the Ravens, minus three versus the Bengals. Now, the uh, Bengals have failed to, failed to cover the spread in seven of their last eight games against NFC North teams. Each of their last four games between the two teams have gone over in total points. And the Bengals have lost four of their last five games against AFC opponents. <laughs> That's some stats. How's that? How's that for it stats? Feel, it feels like just a nine-inch date over here when he just yeah. takes out his little book. I, I, like I, went, went, good I went The last I went 100 times yesterday. that they've played. Went hunting yesterday. I feel like we're on good American football. Bengals get, a win. Yeah. Bengals get a win last week. I think the Ravens are figuring out their way to use. You brought him up earlier. Derrick Henry, he had the longest run in, franchi- uh, in uh, Ravens franchise history last week. Hey, I'll tell you what. He's 199 still got yards, juice. two touchdowns. Yeah, he's pulling away from oh, DBs. Yeah. He, 22, 22 23 miles an hour. He's been doing that, though. This I ain't know. nothing new, son. And people this, think, oh, he's getting old, he's getting yeah, old. But, dude, he's, he's, just, he's, he's, he's a father-time cat, dude. Nah, he's beating him right now. Derek is always going to be Derek, no matter and what. I, I did not, not no matter what, bro. When he's 50 years old, he's not going to be able to run like that. That was one of the dumbest comments I've ever How, heard. What do you mean? He's not going to be able to beat Derek no matter what. Like, he's not going to be running 23 miles Is he going to be forever. playing at 50 years old? You just said nothing's going to change. Like, it last, Have you last, seen last, Eddie George? Like, when you see that, they just year, saying. Even last year, there was still, like, there was still thoughts of, like, hey, has he lost a step? No, he didn't want to play in and Tennessee saying, no more. That's Derek's what not like that. Derek's not built like that. He's not going to just let his foot off the gas. Yeah. He, he's he's not, what I'm saying last year, the way it went, uh, as the Titans were running the football, there was never the question of has he lost a step? He, like, is it the offensive line? Is it Derek? Is it the offense? Like, the offense? It, we, all, we all talked about this chapter is closing. It's like if Derek Henry was still prime Derek Henry, then you wouldn't let him go. But we're, you're, you're sitting here talking like he never lost. They let him the go point. because they wanted to involve, the, they wanted to. Make the offense different. They, you want, you know how it works when you get a new coach, a new GM. Sometimes they don't want that player that came in. They want to change the dynamic, and, and that's and, what they did. Yeah, the return on investment of Derrick Henry. It, he's the only player in like the last twenty years to outplay his first contract and his second contract. Like you got to think, as a Titan, it's like you think that's the best move to move away from that. Yeah, and develop. Still, first off, I want to say something. I don't know what happened in the last two weeks. What happened to positive vibes? What happened to positive vibes? I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I get. I'll be. I'll be the only one of us three to be like when he pulled away and clocked in at 22, 23 miles an hour. I was like, oh shit, maybe he hasn't lost a step because there was there was never a time like even as he's running last year, the year before, where I'm just dying on the hill saying Derek Derek hasn't lost anything. Like yeah, he's aging. He's a massive running back. He's going to uh, the Ravens. They didn't like figure it out in the first couple weeks, but when he pulled away. This last game, I was like, "Oh snap! The boy looks solid." I will be, the, I will be the one of us three to be like, "Okay, no, no, no. maybe I was surprised seeing him run." I wasn't. Pull but away. We were all surprised by. I him. wasn't. You were not surprised by no, him. No, because the dude, miles an they, hour. they talked about his diet the week before. The man don't don't no sugars, no salts, no no carbs. Only eat after five o'clock. Like he's he got that routine. He just needs to get the ball more. And he knew I'm gonna start this game off the right way. The old Derek, first play of the game. Boom, straight up the hole. You seen the DB could have made that tackle. He chose to run to the other side and let that boy run up that hole, and it was gone. He thought he was going to catch Derek. You can't catch Derek. You know who put put Derek on that diet? Who? Me. Ah, okay. (laughs) 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 Who give you that? (laughs) Derek, if you see this clip, let him know I put you on that diet. That's, That's actually a fact. Credit to Taylor for the Baltimore Ravens win. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're picking up what I'm what I was saying. All right, good. Okay. We- hey, all right. Speaking of favorite player in the NFL, Jaden Daniels is moving up the rankings for me, bro. Definitely. Jaden Daniels looks insane. Like, what, what was the stat? It was like minimum of 100 snaps, uh, completion percentage in the history of the NFL, like over Tom Brady, over Peyton Manning. I want to say the, uh, the Washington Commanders have uh, scored 
in 16 consecutive drives, which is, I think is a record, yeah? I think so. I think he held the record. It's a record it's right now. And he only threw one interte- uh, one interception in the first game and haven't thrown an interception since. They haven't since. punted in the, last few, in the last three games. The have not punted. Is, the man is going ham. The district is on absolute fire right now. The cloud that has been over Washington for the last decade with the ownership, with front office, with staff, like the, the, uh, the revolving door with the coaching staff, who's taking the blame, this, that, the other. Dan Snyder sells the team. They get in new ownership, new front office. They find a coaching staff they like. Cliff Kingsbury's firing on all cylinders with Jaden Daniels. They found a franchise quarterback in Jaden Daniels. And a couple weeks ago when they went to Cincy, it's one of those things when they beat them and Jaden played damn near perfect. Uh, you're like, okay, they beat a pretty good Bengals team. Who knows where the Bengals are actually at? Just history says that they start slow. But all right, they beat the Bengals at Cincy. Then when they go to Arizona, like just knowing what that culture has been in the last decade, it's like, all right, they win a big game against Cincy at Cincy. Let's see how they handle a win going out to Arizona and facing the Cardinals. They beat the shit out of the Cardinals at AZ. And now they're getting to play at home against the Browns, hosting the Browns, and the Browns fucking suck. They're terrible. Deshaun Watson sucks. Miles Garrett, a lot of injuries right now. Sucks. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. God damn. Hey, Will is on a, a joking, crazy ride right now this episode. He, but he's I, I, I love the commanders, the commanders. The commanders at home. I love this pick. I love Jaden Daniels. And I think Washington. I think Washington is a real contender this year. So I'm going commanders minus three. Oh, nice. I like that. I'm actually, I'm, I'm in on that. All right. I'm in on that. I'm going to tell you mine. <laughs> you in on the commanders? No, no, no. You what do you mean? Rounds. No. So you're going over? No. You going under? I was just messing with you. I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking the commanders, of course. Come on, man. Got a right quarterback out there. I know. Looking but you was telling me you wasn't liking him. You never heard that out of my mouth. <laughs> never. Come on, son. I feel you. He should Delaney have went was higher. always like, I can't believe these black guys think they can play quarterback. I he never said that. Delaney, I will say, never he fired up about Joe Flacco with the Colts. I, yeah, I like Joe. Same. I like Joe. No, I feel you. I was just trying to defeat him. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, come on, man. Defend White, him. black, it don't matter yeah, to me. Yeah, it don't matter. Whoever hey, spins it. Yeah, who spins it and wins it, I'm all about it, <laughs> okay? Uh, my game of the week going to be, you know what I mean? They said Sam Donald was dead. They said the man didn't have it. They said he couldn't get the job done. Mm. But the dude went to the Vikings? Got the starting job because my man got hurt. We're going to just say that. He got hurt. I, th- I see. I don't think that's true. I think Sam still had the starting job you think when JJ so? got hurt. Yes, it was still like an up in the air thing. Either okay. way, either way, either way, either way, you have to be ready to fucking play, play. when your number is called and, at all times. And this man showing up, showing the fuck out. I gotta go with the Vikings, man. Just Sam Donald, something to bottle, man. He's out there looking clean, making passes, controlling the offense. Getting the defense fired up just because he out there making plays left and right. Got two receivers on the outside. Just, I mean, throw it up. Throw it up. Let them go out there and make plays, and they do that shit well. So I'm going with the Vikings. And Addison's back. Too, Addison, that's what I'm saying. He just Justin, came back. Major, Addison yeah. came back last week. Had a, a what? I think he had like a, a screen pass, took it to the crib, or it was like a five-yard right. out, whatever it was, and just took it to the house. So them boys are back. The Vikings looking good, man. I'm taking them. What is it? Minus two and a half. I love the pick. I love it I too. Because I think Dan, Sam Darnold is actually entering into the MVP conversation. Yeah. 11 touchdowns, three interceptions. Somebody who, like you were saying, throws it. He looks confident. They can run the ball. Flores, that defense on the other side, like they're playing, playing nice, bro. Playing nice. All phases. All phases. All phases. I do like that. Uh, we were oh, yeah, talking I'm about right, that on the I'm bus right this week you. about Jay and Daniels and Sam Darnold kind of maybe being the MVP race. Stepping up. And that'd be awesome. And low-key, maybe Baker. I know. It's just yeah. cool. Just kind of yeah, see what's happening. Yeah, every yeah. year, it's Changing. it's Josh Allen, Joe right. Burrow, Patrick yeah. Mahomes. Like, yeah. these are the guys you have to worry about. And now you have, like, these band of misfits coming out of nowhere. Yeah. But that's what happens, you know. Jerry, give me the Vikings younger. pick with them. I want in on that action. The just, leads get younger, you know. Let's do a triple-A stat. Let me get on that, get on that too. Let me get that triple-A stat. They what? I know. They don't. Triple-A stat. They don't have DJ Hawkinson back They don't yet. But the but the other tight end been eating too though. He be he be getting some passes. He be making some moves. Aren't they going to London soon? Uh, the Vikings. Oh, that's this week. Is yeah, that this it's week? in London. Yeah. Yes, bro. <laughs> it's that in London. 
I wish I wish I did a better job of looking that up because there is a big stat on when teams go there. I, I know. Who's the home team? That's what kind of brought me up out of the who's, chair. Who's What's the home up? team? The Vikings is the home team? Oh, they going to be there. Yes, they, they're there longer. The home team always go a week before, and then the visiting team comes three days before. I don't before think they, that's the stat. What's the over-under on that, G? 40 and a half. 40 and a half, and he's, somebody just said something about the unders always hit. I feel like that's always the, yeah, you're yeah, there's a little sloppy. Rocky. That that field is terrible that, too. Yeah, but terrible. they plan on a new field though. I think they plan at, at that new soccer stadium, right in uh, London. Are they? No, because we had Hawkinson on the episode. and We were talking about maybe come back for London or the week they right after. They got a bye week right I'm after. I'm officially maybe. terrified. Jets, Vikings. Raiders, Broncos, and Browns Commanders. That's who's playing in London this weekend. Oh, all those teams are playing? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Damn. I'm Wait. officially terrified. This weekend? Say the teams again. Right? Three Doesn't teams? It? Am I right on that? No. One team. One it's team. saying International London Series, and it's got three teams above it. Yeah, yeah three teams are playing. Wait. Yeah, because yeah, three teams play there. Three Correction, teams. one team, one game in London Man, this next weekend. Week. So no longer terrified. No longer terrified. Got spooky yeah. for no a second, longer, though. Yeah, because I'm thinking Jaden, rookie QB over in London. Yeah, he yeah, knows. Yeah. He ain't never been there before. Um, let's talk. You guys want to talk about the ballsy pick? Yeah, bring us up, ballsy pick. Okay, ballsy pick is brought to you by, is this the first one, Fireball? This is the second one, Fireball. Ballsy pick is brought to you by Fireball. So many things make football great, but you know what the best thing is? Kicking the living shit out of your rival. There's absolutely no better feeling as an athlete or a fan. This week, I'm telling you my ballsy pick right now, Colts and Jags. And I'll tell you who I'm taking in a second, but that is a nice little rivalry going on the AFC South. And Fireball Whiskey is here to give you the spark to ignite that rivalry all season long. Grab your football buddy, buy around, and reignite the rivalry flame. It's okay. Jags are 0-4. Got to feel good for Titans fans out there. That they're no longer they have a win and the, they have a one in the win column feels yes, good. Thank God. And the Jags, the coach, who I literally his name is still what was it? Doug Peterson. Doug, Doug Peterson. Peterson does a press conference. They ask him about hey, you know the play calling, blah blah blah. Do you want to switch it up? And Doug Peterson essentially says, I thought he called a great game. It's a give and take game. Like we need the players to buy into what they're doing. Essentially calling out the players on the Jags. So I feel like. Losing the locker room in a lot of ways. Not only that, last week on Sunday, Anthony Richardson, obviously a massive ceiling goes down. Old man Flacco comes in the game. And I know half of that. Something about Joe Flacco. Something about Joe Flacco, dude. Something about, and I think Savvy Baby would have a lot to say about that. Wait, so you questioning him, questioning the players, uh, making them accountable. Is time out. Is that where the league? league? Here, 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 this will actually be a good conversation for us. If you feel like, you have really good leadership in the locker room. And I'm not saying if they do or they don't, but I'm just saying think of times where you have a good veteran group of leaders and you know it's been on the players. I don't think you mind when your head coach says something like that. You shouldn't. But you know what I mean? No, you're you shouldn't. Like, you're you kind shouldn't of, because but. if you fuck with the coaching staff, you're almost like you don't mind that that's being said because it's like it is on us. Yeah. You he know what I mean? Yeah, no, very He true. ends up going around in that press conference and being like, you want to blame somebody, blame me. Yeah, but like of He also like took a shot, took a shot, took a shot, came back and was like, you want to blame somebody, blame me. For me, I always looked at the podium as a place to fall on the sword any time things didn't go right. Like You just talk about yourself, die on it, and then as a coach, go into the team meeting room and be like, listen, pull up the film and you got to get on boys' so asses true. a little bit. I, I, I like that approach a little bit more. Make it seem hunky-dory, like, hey, we're a team, we're going to stay together to the public eye, and then once you get behind closed doors, that's when you can start verbally assaulting the boys, letting them know what's what. That's yeah, just I, personally what I like more. But it's, it's not working, obviously, because I'm sure he's been doing that the, every, for weeks, and now he's, like, tired of it, hearing the reporters asking him the same question. Right. What is going on? What is going on? Right. He's well, like, if you're well, we're doing our too. job. When you're you know how that holes are tight. You know that how that room. shit sit in, like yes. uh, as players. So when you hear that, it's like let's hold each other accountable now. Like the coach calling us out. Right. Now they're not taking that blame anymore. It's on us now. What are we gonna do to yeah, change that? Yeah, but Delaney Walker, great leader. Will Compton, great leader. Like, do we do we have that in that locker room? Is Trevor Lawrence flipping his hair back, going, "Boys, we gotta be better." <laughs> you know, we gotta do. We who, gotta do this. Who do you but see? But all, all that to be said, let me let me let me. 
land this plane on my pick here. Oh, no, no, go for it. Anthony Richardson goes down. I really feel like in the the upstairs of the Colts sat there, and like half of them were like, yes. Just they feel, <laughs> they feel a little bit more confident about Joe Flacco in there right now. Anthony Richardson has a lot of cool throws where he's off balance, he's off his back foot, throws a 40-yard bomb, and it's amazing. But then you get to those shorter intermediate throws, and he's just not putting the accuracy he wants. I'm not coming at Anthony Richardson. I think his ceiling is up here. But Colts kind of have a little bit of a team, all right? You obviously have Quentin Nelson, who's made every Pro Bowl and all pro alive. You got Taylor, who's does, who does a phenomenal job. You got a young defensive end who's ripping around that corner really well. You got guys that are – I've always viewed the Colts as a well-coached team. Like, for they've had multiple coaches. When I play, they have a new coach now. I just feel like that's a team that, like, understands – the X's and O's and the rules and plays within the framework of all of that. With a guy like Joe Flacco, who's a little more vanilla, he's going to throw quite a few picks, but he's also going to throw about five touchdowns in this game. That's the kind of that's the kind of feeling I get where like the Colts are like, all right, let this kid get healthy, and then the playbook opens up a little bit more as well. Besides the the, the, the RPOs, so I will be taking the Colts money line that's plus one twenty four. I'm going to say something about the Colts though. I know why is the offense calling different with two di- with with Richardson and then Flacco, like, come on, like. Two different skill sets. It don't matter. Yeah. Don't Flacco run that run. man. Don't run that man all the time. That's why he's getting hurt, constantly getting hurt. He he just had a hip. He had but a hip what corner. What would have, too, though, D? Like, it's like, if he is, like, I, he, Taylor's just saying he's got high potential, high ceiling. If he is having accuracy issues or he's not seeing certain reads at times and the staff knows that, you're going to build in certain uh, certain running game for him because you're still going to utilize him. You know what I mean? But, I said, if he, but if you if watch that not, game, they ran a lot of high lows with Joe. And they don't run a lot of high lows with him. They try to go, try to show off his arm, throwing bombs and deep posts. Do the same concept with him. Maybe he can he can feed off of that with the high low routes. Bring someone in the flat, throw the corner route over top. Do the same uh, with uh, digs and posts. Don't, th- this man, all he do is try to throw goals with him, fades, posts, deep posts, deep crosses. He obviously is not working with him. So change up that offense the same way you change it up for Joe. Don't simplify it for Joe and then make it harder for this dude. Like, that's what's, that's what's hurting him. I almost think it opens up more for somebody like Joe. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Joe, they Joe, it like kept Joe in there. Season you can open up the playbook you can. You can. And full offense. Because he know every offense, but they kept it easy for him. I promise you. If you watch that, I watched the game. I think there are guys like Sam Darnold who have to find the right coaching staff and the right scheme to have success. True. Anthony Richardson's one, of those, one of those guys. one of those guys. I think yes. a guy like Joe Flacco is a plug-and-play guy that has Anywhere. the brain and the understanding to go into any offense and be relatively oh, successful. Yeah. He like Ryan that's Fitzpatrick. Why, that's and why we and, here and, and we say, he's like, what, 40 years old? He's also got the perspective. Like, he knows he's could be the last he's just playing with house Could money. be the last year. He like doesn't, doesn't care, willing to sling yeah. it. Anthony Richardson is at the beginning of his career. He's in his second year in the league, and it's, you know, he showed a little bit of promise though. the first five games of the year last year, gets yeah. injured, then that happens. And now it's like kind of like we're watching with Will Levis. Like, you want to be the man so bad. There's just like, a, a, you just, there's so much more pressure than a guy like Joe Flacco who's like, I got a relatively good offensive line. I got good receivers. I got Pittman Jr. in the corner. He's 6'6". I can throw the ball up to him anytime I want. I feel good. I know where my hot routes are. Those types of things is what is going to help the Colts because that's a that's a good ball club. That's not really – Just like you said, record. Will Levis and what they did with, with Rudolph. It's, they simplified it for Rudolph when he came in the game. They Every team does that with the backup quarterback. Do it with the starting quarterback and see how well that works. Yeah, but it's not like Mason played that well. He didn't Mason play, didn't that, play well, that well, but he and they also, ran the ball a lot better. From a scheme standpoint did. as well, like if you're playing the Miami Dolphins who have zero offense at this point, right now, you know no you offense. have to basically protect East and West. When you see Tyreek Hill go into motion, you're like, all right, we got to get guys flooding over there. Because you saw Hunley, there's a three or four passes. He underthrew Tyreek Hill two or three times. And the one time Tyreek had a massive gap, he actually overthrows the cheetah. So it's like, as a a Titans, you're like, we just got to contain them and play very conservative ball on offense. Don't turn it over. We're going to be just fine. Yeah. So everything's a chess game. Everything's everything's back and forth. True. With Flacco, I feel like you could open it up way more than you could with Richardson. We'll see this week. See what happens. Yeah. You know? I think we'll see. Because um, they're going to open the playbook up a lot same more. Same ballsy pig. Colts money line. Oh, you have it? Yeah. Oh, you taking that? Yeah. Great conversation about it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very, very good. What's your ballsy pick? My ballsy favorite picks. Favorite team? My favorite team? The Panthers? No. I'm just, no. Uh, I'm going with the Panthers. Obviously, I'm going with the Panthers because Andy Dalton is at, at him playing quarterback. The dude had showed up last week. Made some throws, putting the ball in the end zone. I feel like the Panthers can get the Bears. This is a week. 
he can go out there, Andy Dog can show his team what it's all about, get the Panthers going, fired up by getting a win over the Bears. So that's my ballsy pick. I'm taking Panthers money line plus 160. It's a good yeah, pick. I'm staying away from him. What an ugly ass game. That's a good pick. Andy Dalton back at him. You didn't see they, him? they can they can score points. I I like the pick. I'm just saying I don't like I I don't watch any of the Panthers like Bears or everybody's kind of aware of how <laughs> they were, how much yeah. that, how down the hill that's going at the moment. Yeah, that's why I'm taking them to get this win. They need this win. Yeah, and a similar situation as the Colts. Very. Take out a second year guy. Yeah. Put in a vet that's playing with house money. Yes. I mean he's and yeah, I just feel like he, the Bears are. There's not, they're not there yet. And they don't, yeah, they're, they're, not, they're, they're, they're not, not there. there. They gotta win, though. They gotta win. 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 Dirty win. When you hear them, I mean, they got a dirty, they're, both their wins are dirty wins. Yeah. When you hear the receivers say, why did we get rid of Fields? It's just like, sheesh. No. He said that? Oh, yeah. He said that in an interview. He's like, Which I don't receiver? know. The main receiver. Who else? DJ? Yeah. DJ Moore? Yeah. The main they, they, receiver. They have, what are you talking in riddles? You can't just tell us who the receiver is. Who else they got? But I'm oh, saying, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Keenan Allen. But did he, y'all see the clips? Oh, yeah, Keenan. But he y'all see the clips where there. DJ Moore had been sitting on his own, like on the bench and everything else? Yeah. He said, I don't understand why we got Reddit Fields. That's what he said. <laughs> I was like, ooh, yeeky. Because he see what Fields is doing in Pittsburgh right now. And right. System. System. Right coach. Right coach. Arthur there Smith. You go. Arthur Smith, There you go. There you go. There you go. You sometimes Arthur Smith's going to get himself another shot, boys. Yeah, Calling he, it now. He, he, Let's dive into these, uh, let's go rapid fire. Let's dive into rapid fire. JP. JP's doing rapid fire this week. Rapid fire. Make sure you look at the camera. We Yeah, we need eye contact, we need speed, and we need accuracy. You know, she say eye contact. Will, what speed do you make mistakes at if you're gonna make Full mistakes? Full speed. Exactly. First game, Bills minus one at the Texans. The over under is 47 and a half. Texans. Texans. Bills. Ooh. Next game, Dolphins at Patriots. Patriots are favored by a point and the over under is 35 and a half. Under. Gritty game, under. Under. Cowboys at Steelers. Steelers are favored by two and a half. Over under is 43. Steelers. Mm. Yeah, I hate mm. that we keep choosing the same one. Steelers. Steelers. Triple A stat, triple A stat, triple A stat. Delaney, start this one off. Saints at Chiefs. Chiefs are favored by four and a half. Over under is 42. Chiefs. I like the Saints. I like the Saints. Plus four and a half. I think it comes down to a field goal. Rapid fire, Chiefs. <laughs> Raiders at Broncos. Broncos are favored by two and a half. Over under is 36. Broncos. Broncos playing tough defense right now in Denver with the altitude. Give me the Broncos minus two and a half. Broncos. Rapid fire. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're Will, right. Cardinals at 49ers. 49ers are favored by seven and a half. Over under is 49 and a half. Even without Christian McCaffrey, that offense is high powered. I love the Niners minus seven and a half here, Delaney. <laughs> It's so, it's so <laughs> Niners and over. Niners. <laughs> A lot of diversity. <laughs> hey, there we go. There we go. Hey, bet the boys parlay. And I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Talk to God real quick. I'm fucking this up. <laughs> I'm fucking this up. <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> me. I think I've missed every week in, in, in finding a touchdown. Week one was by, me. By the week way, one was me. By the way, let me. Let week me, one was me. I picked. I picked Christian McCaffrey. And he didn't he play. Didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, look. And then I lost one. What's better than watching football on the weekend? Watching football on the weekend with DraftKings Sportsbook app in your hand. Our partner DraftKings is hooking up all new customers who bet five dollars will instantly get two hundred dollars in bonus bets. Follow all your favorite Barstool personalities picks in the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the app now. New customers who use my code LOCKER and bet just $5 on any wager will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code LOCKER only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. But it's my fault. Well, I think Walt... And you, Taylor. Taylor, by the way, is in the Survivor the Survivor Stool touchdown. Viver. The Stool Viver touchdown. He's still in it. Oh, he picked uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. last week. Got that. Yeah. But he's picked it every week. So I'm going to be honest. I'm very scared to say who I want as my Bet the Boys parlay. And I would love if you guys had my pick. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I, Do we need to set me down and they just go and we just go two touchdowns? You might be benched, bro. 
Nah, Listen, we want to hear whatever's your, best for the hey, team, hey, coach. We want to hear coach, your pick. Man. Whatever's best for the team, I'll sit. I'll ride the pine, coach. Listen, week one was me. I chose a guy who didn't play the play in the game. Yeah, but that's intel. Week two we was intel. Delaney. No, I was well, week so you, three. Week three was you. Yeah. So, okay, let's just say you're I missed every of week though. You got you look at a twenty and twenty right here. But I missed. I have missed every week. I'm out on Stool Survivor. I lost in week one. I tried week two. They said, hey, Will, if you win, if you pick two touchdown winners, you're back in. Lost, went over two that week. So I'm more than just out. So you got the yips. Yeah, I'm over That's everything okay. this year. That's okay. You want to go two this week? I love David Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> I also I like that pick too. I, also, I like that pick. He hasn't scored yet. He have not because Sam Laporta. But I was supposed to say he ain't been running a lot this this year though. What are you talking David about? Montgomery? He been running, but he, once they get to the end zone, you know who they putting in the hey, game. Hey, I love Montgomery gets there. Hey, he, I, hey, honestly, I love the Sam Laporta. I mean, Jared Goff, eighteen for 18, 100, 294 yards and two touchdowns. Literally should we go a Laporta? Perfect football game. Should we go Laporta? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Hey, maybe you should sit. Maybe I'm out. You should I'm, sit. Out. He's out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm but, sick hey, of this Before shit, he still mines, I'm, I'm going to tell you mines. Derrick Henry, anytime TD, I'm going D here. I see he getting back on track. They playing the Bengals. That man going to touch the end. I think that's a good pick. Yeah. That's a, that's a good pick. I'm going to go Justin Jefferson. Okay, yeah. Sam Donald, we've already talked about him. Chris Connell, those guys in, in Minnesota in the Great White oh, North right now are slinging him. the ball everywhere. They look fantastic. Their defense is playing well. We found out on the show they're playing in London. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, they throw. But I really, I really think like part of Sam Darnold showing like regaining his confidence is knowing that Justin Jefferson is out there any moment. You can throw it anywhere you want. So I got him anytime touchdown. Yeah. Let's that just stay is tuned. so fucking funny. Couldn't that you're any talking worse yourself in. I love Dave Montgomery. I love Salem Port. I'm like low key. That's good. <laughs> Goop. Bye week. There's a bye. <laughs> there's a bye week. I'm telling you, that's how off I am right now, bro. Let's go two. Let's just All go right. two. Let's do one okay, more. Okay, one, one, one more. Let's do one more. Yeah, yeah that was Let's get another um, touchdown in there. Come on, bro. Pull it out your fucking hat. Let's go. All right, hang on. Let me look at a couple things. We can we can skip some of this. Oh. Nah. Dude. Ooh, for the Commanders. You think so? You say Bijan? Actually, the, you know what? I don't for know. The commanders? You say Bijan? No, Brian. Brian, Brian from the Commanders. For the Commanders. He been getting icky. All right. I'll, I'll do that. I, honestly, I was looking at the Falcons game on our sheet here, and I was thinking to myself, like, Bijan, bro. Have he gotten in his own this year? Bro. I don't know if he has. Bijan. But, yeah, Brian Robinson. That's cool. Put what, about, hey, hey, what about Mike Evans? I think I think right now we're going to park all your opinions on this, just this segment. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, I think that's a good one, too. All right. Watch it hit. The ball. Watch it hit. Yeah, they Mike throw the ball all the time. All right. It's Red up zone. to you. It's you. It's you. What you want? Which one you want? What? Let's Ooh. go, Brian. Four. Yeah, Brian Robinson and Mike Evans. Fuck Will's it. gone from Hot sitting street. on the bench to now he has 50% of the picks. <laughs> <laughs> What's that parlay there? Plus 9-11. Ooh. Never forget, dude. Ooh. Plus 9-11. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, boys, we are hitting college football. Dude, you're being very funny today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the locker room. We are now going to hit our college football segment. See, that's true classic, by the way. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, college ball. College football. It's fun, dude. It is fun. We're gonna start with the trophy. Delaney game. hates college football. I know it's so. I don't crazy know why. I don't know why he does. It's just pure. It's well, more pure for now. It's well, more he played, pure. For now. He played. Yeah. What was that? Prep school. South Harmon Institute Tech Juco. Number two. Use Juco. Number two in the nation, son. In what? For the love of the game. M-I-A-A. What is that? <laughs> you know what that is, son. M-I-A-A? Yeah, D2 football. Let's go. I don't know what that is, but I do know what this is, and that's DraftKings. <laughs> What's better than watching football on the weekend? Watching football on the weekend with the DraftKings Sportsbook app in your ham. Our partners at DraftKings is hooking up all new customers who bet $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets Follow your favorite Barstool personality picks and the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. By the way, I saw ours the other day. You look nice. Yeah. Look Are good. you talking about the bus with the boys parlay? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, real yeah. nice. It's got to hit, though. We got to get that thing to hit. I know. We got to get it traction on that thing time. for sure. Do us a favor. Download the app now. New customers. Use code 
Use promo code LOCKER and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. The pro, that promo code is called LOCKER, L-O-C-K-E-R, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Yeah, yes it is. Let's get to the, the trophy game of the week. Um, I can go. Go for it. Go ahead. Rip it. Rip go, it, my bro. guy. Do you want me to go? Michigan money line versus Washington. And I know, listen, I understand how, I, I, I fully understand. Underdogs. How, where, y'all, where y'all ranked this year? We're actually they're, 10. They're we're 10 in the nation. And they're underdogs wow. by two and a half points That's at Washington. Wild. Washington. Wild. I understand that we're a one dimensional squad. I understand that we were up 20, 24 to 3 against Minnesota and they came back and almost won. Almost I won. understand that there was an onside kick that people are saying wasn't a penalty. They became a penalty and then Michigan ended up getting it the yeah, second time. It's questionable. I understand all of those things. I also understand that we're going to win this game. You understand because Michigan here's why. Football. Because here's why. Here's why. Sharon Moore, after the game, was visibly upset. He understood that his team did not play four quarters of football. I know I love Alex Orgy, and I know that he just is not a throwing quarterback. I, I, I get that. If we just continue to play great defense in 60 minutes of it, and we run the, the, the ball the way Mullins has ran the ball, and that offensive line has gelled together, we can but make this a continue gritty. to play great defense when they allow Minnesota to come back. I need you to just hit, hammer Will, that point home for Will me. Johnson, I want you to sell Will me. Johnson, I want you to sell Will me. Johnson was out that game. Will Johnson was out that game, and we got a little squirrely with the blitzes. You know how I feel about over over the top exotic blitzes. Right. You know how I feel about just it. Just play ball. Play ball. You have the talent. There's been a bunch of articles coming out about Mason Graham after the Texas game. So maybe he saw the clip of us kind of saying, "Hey, you got to pick it up a little bit." Hopefully. Saying there is not a player in college football on the defensive side of the ball playing more dominant than he is right now. We need that. We've got to have it. And I believe there's a mental block for Washington the way we curb stomp them in the national championship game. I That's a good ball club. That's a loud ball club. That's a loud fan base. The Northeast does go hard, and the way they build their stadiums, they do a great job. I'm taking Michigan money line. It could have been my ballsy pick, but I didn't want to double down, so I'm going Michigan money line, trophy game of the week, because last time these two teams played, it was for the national championship. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stay away, respectfully. I appreciate that. You know how sensitive I am about my boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm staying away from that game as well. I'm very excited to see them travel to Washington and see how they play. Me too. I'm very excited. You can see the excitement in my face? Same weather. (laughs) It'll be all right. I got one for you, boys. Missouri at Texas Mm. A&M. A&M is favored by two and a half. Mizzou, they're ranked in the top ten. I want to say A&M is 24. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Wait, is A&M favored? Yeah, A&M is favored by two and a half. The total points on this game is 48 and a half. I've went back and forth on this. Part of me, the boy growing up in Missouri, I wasn't a Mizzou fan growing up, but I love, you know, when I went back home a few weeks ago, I love seeing everybody back home excited about Missouri. And they do have a very flashy receiver in Luther Burden the third. Flash, flash, flash. Yeah, we we hear flash, you. Flash, just you know. Yeah, <laughs> you let me know if I if I can keep going. No, we hear you. I'm just I'm checking. I'm fact checking you. So he I'm just, over here texting. Never. You're never texting? That. I don't text. I, I'm over here trying to give you a text. speech. You're really, you're really I'm over here trying to give yeah, a speech. We on here doing a show. He over here texting. Texting, bro. What are you doing? I'm fact checking you. I'm fact checking you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So we good to go? Yeah, you good. Okay. You good. Guy, guy who hates college football wants to fact check the guy who loves college football. Yeah, definitely. All right. Their main running back, his name is Nate Neal. He's averaging uh, 6.39 yards of carry. They can run it. They can pass it. Their defense is a little suspect. I do think A&M's defensive line can get after their ass. A&M might be able to score what I, where I am leaning in this game. And anybody in the college football world, if you guys want to jump in here and correct your boy, but I think what I'm taking here is the over 48 and a half. I like this to be a high-scoring game. I feel like anytime Mizzou is playing a, a quality-esque SEC team, the way they get their wins is very high-powered on offense. I think they can do that. I think AM can keep up with them because, again, Mizzou doesn't have the best defense in the world. They do have a great linebacker core. But I like this to be an over 48 and a half. Does anybody have an opinion on this game back there? Wait, so you're not uh, choosing? You disagree? You think it's under? So you Tell got, me why. I mean, come up here, uh, Sherm. You ain't taking a team at all? I If I took a team, I would say it's Mizzou minus two and a half. Give, okay, that's all I wanted to but hear. But if I'm just talking about game of the week, so I'm I talking want, about what we'll pick on pick. That's all I wanted Sherm. to hear. 
Yeah. I heard that Connor Wegman is going to be back this week. That is the rumor. Nah, bruh, let me get my shoe back, bruh. Wegman will be behind the center for the Aggies this week. So that hurts them offensively. That spells disaster. And Mizzou's been starting off really slow the last two weeks. I know. Really slow. So an over, that's a wild pick to me. All right, we're going to go Mizzou minus, or we're going to go Mizzou plus two and a half. Mizzou plus two and a half, sure. Thanks, Thank you. Mizzou. Good. Mizzou. Mizzou. Good. Plus two and a half. I'll tell you, I like that. I'm going to stay away from it because it's on my tear talk, but good. Go ahead. What's your game of the week? Or trophy game of the week? Trophy game of the week. Tennessee at Arkansas. Y'all know I fuck with Nico. <clears throat> and I fuck with Tennessee. So I got to go Tennessee. Hands down, they're going to be Arkansas. I don't know shit about Arkansas. I only know Nico. <laughs> so I'm picking Tennessee. I can't give y'all that nice. We do got a Tennessee expert, Jack McPherson. Do you love Tennessee to cover in this game against Arkansas? Yes. That's Coming off I a needed. bye, too. That's all I needed Coming to Coming off a bye week. Yeah, fresh legs. I will give you all this Cal- uh, good morning football talk, but I ain't got that in me right now. Because because you don't know Arkansas. You damn right. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> but we taking the Tennessee ball. We baby. taking GBO. the ball. Let's do it. All right, let's get. Let's just dive right on in. Let's just. Oh, go I, in. I like that pick, and I loved Sherman's explanation of you changing your pick. I like both yeah, of those picks. Yeah, I do appreciate that. Oh, so I you running with that. these picks? In spirit, yeah, not oh, for okay. the record right. of the show. Oh, I will. I, be, I will not, bet those picks though. Yeah. I won't be doing Tennessee. I don't think. No, they're, no, they're, I don't. They're, I'm they're not asking you to run half, with correct? them. They're favored fourteen and a half at Arkansas. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. You know what? I, I like. It. I mess I with. Dude, I think Tennessee's oh, real. Oh, they are. Nico, Nico, yeah. Yeah. Like they moved I think up Tennessee to is a five. real ball club. They moved up to number five, four too. Five, one of them. Yeah. yeah. Four. Yes. And like, I don't know much about Missouri. They kind of lost me with the Michael Sam thing. But like, I'm. Oh my I'm, God. But like, if we're gonna if we're gonna roll, I'll roll with you. I love. That's a joke. It is a joke. But that here's was another a joke. joke. Coop, you kind of look like his type, too. You, yeah, you for real? Like hey, 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 he looked like the guy. Hey, Coop, he looked like the guy. 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 He smashed the cake on. He looked like the guy. Hey, make sure y'all put that up. Like, put that double side with the cake. Come stand right here. Come stand right here. You do Hey, you look like the guy. He smashed the cake on, son. There's nothing I can say to all of you. Shout out, Coop, man. Hey, sorry about Oklahoma State. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, flex. Come on, cool. Cool. Like, pull up your shirt and show that six. Do the Will Compton. Hey, cool. Hey, hey, sleeper build. Oh, I bet. Sleeper build. You see him? I I can tell he got he cut up. You know he's got a hose on him too. Hose. I don't know about all that, but. You know about that. I don't know if he got. You played in the league long enough. You know dudes that have have it. I don't look down. Yeah, you do. You crazy. I ain't looking down, son. Tear talk, tear talk, tear talk. <laughs> I am not looking down, B. Tear talk. Yeah. Who's your tier one? Tier one football football game. Tier one. It ranked team ranked in between one and ten for those two. Number two nine, teams. Missouri versus Texas AM. I'm going Missouri. Okay. For tier all the two. reasons I was talking about. Oh, yeah, for all the all reasons right. you were talking about. And, and you know, I really didn't hear them, but I, I like what you said. Tier two. I'm going Syracuse at UNLV, and I'm taking UNLV minus six and a half. UNLV's frisky. You don't like you it, Sherman? Brutal? No. UNLV's just like their top two players just said they're stop playing. Oh, yeah, because they the, the paycheck thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but they heard the backup quarterback is nice, though. I heard he was nice. I heard he was yeah, nice. Hey, shut it down. UNLV doing it. Tier two, right? Tier three, West Virginia at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm taking. The lady heard about tights. All of a sudden, he's picking Coop's guy. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I feel like you, when we get to the college football portion, you like dread it. You're like, you just want to get done with the show. Definitely, I'll just be like, look, this is who I'm picking because I like the uniforms, and I go from there. Hey, speaking of Oregon. (laughs) When we go out to nice. Oregon, Ohio State, they're all, all black, black uniforms oh, coming yeah. out. Sick. Sick. Bro. That's like the I can't Lions wait. joint with the Hawaiian yeah, blue helmets. Yeah, the, the, the Lions did look nice. That looked crazy. Uh, my So the theme of my tier talk is get back. So tier one, I got 
Uh, Auburn at Georgia. Georgia's favorite minus 24 and a half. I think Georgia is going to wipe the floor with Auburn. Kirby Smart after the game, looking at all his guys, saying, "You see this feeling you have right now? I love. Remember this, this love feeling because everything what I see from you from here on out is going to tell me everything I need to know about your character. That kind of shit gets me rock hard. Yeah, yeah. rock hard. Yeah. So there's that, and then I hate that I'm doing this. Ole Miss. Minus nine and a half versus South Carolina. Mm. And it's not, this is not a shot. It's not based off of they just got embarrassed by Kentucky. And watching Ben Mintz fall over on the couch when that happened, I just think (laughs) it's a get back week for Ole Miss. If Ole Miss won against Kentucky the way they should have won, I think South Carolina takes it. I think South Carolina wins that game. Unfortunately, I got Ole Miss, and I hated saying that. This one, not so much of a get back. I think Minnesota is going to cover eight and a half versus USC. I think they're going to cover eight and a half. Fleck got a good ball club. Mike doesn't work, JP. Sorry. No, it works, and it's on right now. <laughs> God damn it. Go ahead. You were talking about they just got smacked by Kentucky. Yeah. What did South Carolina do to Kentucky? Smack, beat them. Smacked them. Schmacked them. Schmack them. Embarrassed them. Hey. Well, it's Schmack like rock, paper, scissors, dude. Just because one beats one doesn't mean it beats what the other. What we say on the bus? Kentucky dug the hole. South Carolina is spreading the dirt. Ooh. We're burying Ole Miss. The playoff hopes are dead. Lane Kiffin's dead, and Juice Wells is dead. He never should have left South Carolina. Yikes. And I'll be there Ooh. to personally hand deliver the L. And the You're going to be there? Suite. I'm going to be there. VIP suite. Hey, you love my ballsy pick. Hey, you love my ballsy hey, pick. Hey, you love my ballsy hey, pick. Hey, Give me South Carolina money line. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I, he said they oh, you want it. You're out. You, I, you have a great speech like that, and all of a sudden I want to be on your side. You're like, no, never mind. 20 seconds has gone by. All right, let me Ooh. let me go back then. Obviously, no one should bet this anymore. Ole Mix, minus nine and a half. I will be the first phone call, JP, when it happens. And then Minnesota, Fleck Bank, listen, they showed a good second half against Minnesota, uh, Michigan. They showed a good second half. I think they cover eight and a half versus uh, USC. And that's my turn. You like the Fleck Bank. From what you've told me about the Fleck Bank, I don't know if I like the Fleck Bank. <laughs> I love the fact that he wears ties during the game, though. I do, I do like that. And I don't know what it is. I mess with Minnesota's uniforms, and I like their uh, I like their mascot too. Yeah, I think Gophers cool. Oh, gopher, the Golden Gophers. <laughs> Damn, you 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 don't like the Gopher. I'm not a big Gopher. You know what I mean? What's your thing? Just don't like him as a mascot. I want something. It's violent. fun. I want something. Mm. Yeah, you know. like a corn husker. Yeah. <laughs> something violent. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know how I rock. You know, just some inflatable doll walking around with a corn on his head. That fucking. You gotta have some strike fear. You gotta have something violent, or you gotta have like a piece of food or something like that. For me, (laughs) for you, yeah, for me. That's my taste. That's my taste. Way to to clean that up. That's a fun mascot. That's a fun mascot and fun colors. I'd rather have a Wolverine than a gopher. Gophers are dangerous though. I'm just talking about what's fun, like a duck. They can fuck up the flow of a a river. Duck's cool. I think that's a cool mascot because it's like, yo, what, what, like. Tribe would ever pick a duck as like the the for to represent them, but it's sick. But you can feel kind of cool because like the mighty ducks, you know what I mean. You could see them being cool because it's happened before. Yeah, but the mm. only way for something to happen once is for it to happen once. Like the gophers just got to be. Yeah, but they got to go around what's a out there bit, with dude. the gophers, man. Uh, they had a good showing in Caddyshack. They had a good showing in Caddyshack. Okay. You seen that movie? Okay. No, the fuck you haven't, have you? He definitely Caddyshack, never absolutely. Seen that. You've seen it? Yeah, Bill okay, Murray. I, 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 oh, you're just not like a, a classics guy. Yeah. A classic comedy okay. guy. Now, if we pulled out Rocky, listen, I, you're, you're my sensei. All right, go ahead, Will. My tier one, my team ranked in the top 10. I'm going to Alabama. I think right now, this is the best team in college football. I think Ryan Williams, at 17 years old, can play in the NFL right now. I think Milrow, he's gotten a lot better as a passer. They're protecting him well. They're playing confident. Yeah, they let Georgia get back in the game a little bit there in the second half. But I love, I love Alabama. Minus 22 and a half against at Vandy. Uh, my tier two team, my team ranked in, uh, in between 11 and 25. Indiana. Indiana covers 13 and a half at Northwestern. Coach Signetti, all you got to do is look him up. Because he'll tell you. He wins. Hey, coach, yeah, he wins. Well, how do you pitch the recruits to come to your program? Yada, yada. What do you sell to them vision-wise coming from JMU? He says, I win. Google me. That's what he said? With that pause, With too. that pause. He said, that I win. Nice. Wow. Google me. Was he Italian or what? 
Signetti? Oh, you know that's Probably. as, as Italian yeah. as it comes. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's but I like Indiana, man. They're undefeated right now. They look good. They can score in Northwestern. They don't, you know, they ain't worth a shit. My tier three school. So my team, any team that is unranked, ranked outside the top 25, obviously I'm sticking with the boys, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They've covered. They've covered four out of their five games this year. Um, right now, I think they're favored minus six and a half. It was seven, but I think it's dropped down and swung to six and a half. I like them to cover that. Against the Rutgers, against the Rutgers, against Rutgers. Good ball, good Wait, ball they're not ranked anymore? No, nah, because they lost to Illinois. Well, I know. I saw that. Yeah, I'm they lost an OT. You would know. Come on. We lost. We dropped the game. So that's why we're not ranked. We were uh, ranked like, what, 24? I mean, other 22. teams lost and still is ranked. I mean, you know. Yeah, but if, if you're, if you're in the higher, bottom of the top 25 oh, and you lose a game, you're going you're gonna to drop. Yeah, oh, you're going to drop. Yeah. But Illinois is a hard-nosed ball club. Rutgers hard-nosed ball club right now. Rutgers undefeated. Yeah. yeah. Then we got Indiana next week. They're undefeated right now. Well, let's we'll worry about there. Rutgers first. Gonna, though. Yeah, you yeah. just jump past Rutgers, well, You know our next three. I'm just telling you. Do you know our next first. three? I don't care. We can eat the all play. undefeated. I, and when I play, we care about the first this week you know, coming you, up. Yeah, okay, I do. I do care about Rutgers. Okay, I want to win. I think it's going to be a tougher. Don't game look past them. About. Don't look past. But we're going to cover six and a half. Don't look past them. That's my tier three team. All right. Rutgers, Indiana, Ohio State. Those are the next three Thank games. You. Yikes! Get that out there, Jim. Yeah, we, we, you know. We, Listen, we know what's we coming. We got a dogfight coming up. Yeah. We got a dogfight coming up. And the manly Cornhuskers are going to take care of business. And we're going to do it with. Fireball. So many things make football great, but you know the, what the best thing is? Kicking the living shit out of your rival. There's absolutely no better feeling as an athlete or fan. This week, we've got South Carolina, uh, uh, South Carolina, Kentucky. The boys have already been going at each other's throats about it, right? South Carolina, Ole Miss, Ole Miss, Ole Miss. Ole Miss, Ole Miss. Yeah. Sorry, Kentucky was coming up. I hate South that. Carolina, Ole Miss. The boys are already at each other's throats about it. We might have a little something in the ballsy pick we got coming up here. And Fireball Whiskey is here to give you the spark to ignite that rivalry all season long. Grab your football buddy, buy a round, and reignite the rivalry flame. My ballsy pick this week, my fire ballsy pick this week, is the South Carolina Gamecocks. Listen, two words for you. Kyle Kennard, the dude, number five, a freshman. Five and a half sacks. He's in the top five. He's in the top five in the country. What's up? Kennard's not a freshman. I thought that was him. Stop saving this boy. <laughs> Let him fuck up. So you I know what's, what's unfortunate? Right? Right? God, I thought I was about to cook, bro. The, the I know, I know, but the name. Yeah. Which is the most important, probably. Yeah. No, but the most important. <laughs> the most important. Giving credit to the hey, wrong that, person. What was the kid's name? Dylan what? Dylan Stewart. Dylan Stewart. I saw a thing uh, ranking the best, top, the top 10 freshmen right now, and he wasn't on it. I thought that was crazy. Dylan Stewart, but Kyle Kennard, not a freshman. Wait, you five and a half sacks in the top five in the country in sacks. Ole Miss, they thrive on passing the football. I think they're gonna have a tough job, a tough job uh, defending against those two, those two young bulls, those two young bulls. That's what I refer to them as. But I love South Carolina. Carolina, JP, massive game for the Gamecocks this week. Probably the big. You thought it was LSU. Now you got Ole Miss. They dropped one. Can you end their season? I think you can. I'm taking them as my ballsy pick. It's tough because Ole Miss is coming off of coming off of a bad loss against Kentucky. That's what scares However, me. However, it makes South Carolina's resume looks a lot better. If they win this game against Ole Miss, South Carolina, they beat the hell out of Kentucky. They played a tough game against LSU. Who else? Who did we just beat? Yeah, who'd you just beat? Nobody. Nobody. That was nobody, right? Yeah, Akron. Hey man, that's, that's crazy though. Ohio. That money line is two seventy. The house don't think they gonna get it done. No doubt, they really they don't. Why would you? Ole Miss. They were they were like a they were like a uh, top ten team last week, with a high powered offense, scoring averaging like fifty points a game. They just laid an egg against Kentucky. I'm sure they think they're pissed off. They're gonna bounce back. But again, South Carolina at South Carolina. And you don't think Beamer's going to have a little game plan for him? It's October, Will. It's Cocktober. It's Cocktober. It's Spooktober. Man. Don't disrespect yeah, the game. That, we, can have fun. Say, we can have fun. We uh, can have fun. It's Spooktober. No. Spook game! Cox! Spooktober's piece's name is, uh, is Cocktober. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my ballsy pick is a battle of two shitty teams. One team just got crushed by Colorado, who was favored by double digits. The other team... Is abysmal, but I'm taking Florida money line oh, versus UCF. I'm gonna follow along with you. That was mine too. Was it really? Yeah. Who Hell are you yeah. taking? Though? I think it's a I'm good thing Florida. Because... Me too. Yeah. Money I think line. UC. I think UCF. I think they're favored. What thirteen and a half? They favored last week. Yeah. No, last 13, week they were favored thirteen yeah, and a half. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. Colorado, they can't get the ball. Colorado beat the brakes off yeah. of them. They hey, it's not one you can just come back from. I think Florida. They had that, obviously that terrible game against Miami. They oh, haven't yeah. looked good at all this year. Yeah. I think coming into the season, they had like the like the number one hardest schedule ever. Yeah. And now, 
I think this is actually a break for them, and they're they're underdogs. I'm gonna take them. I think it's only plus one. I think it's a good yeah, pick. You're right. Too. I think they're a little broken after Colorado traveled across the country, double digit underdogs, and UCF was coming off like a bye week, so they had yeah. fresh legs. Yeah. Double digit win. Yeah, bro. I think it's a it's a massive tip of the cap oh, yeah. to Colorado, and they're yeah, kind of staying in and bouncing back a little bit. But U- UCF can't throw the ball. Yeah, they cannot. They can run the shit out of, but they cannot throw the ball. Good luck on that pick, boys. Rapid fire. Yeah. yeah, rapid fire. Let's dial in. Let's dial in rapid fire. Then we'll go to our fan call in segment. Rapid fire. Undefeated week ahead of us. And it starts with Michigan State at Oregon. Oregon is favored by 24 points. And the over-under is 52 and a half. Fuck Michigan State, Oregon. Dan Lanning, Oregon, minus 24. Over. Let's go the committee. Purdue at Wisconsin. Wisconsin is favored by 14. Over-under is 46 and a half. Purdue, under 46 and a half. Wisconsin. We'll start this one. Boston College at Virginia. Virginia is favored by one and a half. The over-under is 53 and a half. Boston College, plus one and a half. Boston College. Over. Mm. Delaney, Iowa at Ohio State. Ohio State is favored by 20 points. The over-under is 45. Iowa State. Seems low. Ooh. Iowa State is not playing Ohio State. I mean, oh, Ohio State. <laughs> Ohio State. He said, ooh. <laughs> over 45. Over 45. USC is favored. Not the real USC, by the way. USC is favored by 8.5 at Minnesota. Over-under is 51. Minnesota. USC minus eight and a half. Over. <laughs> Last one. Baylor at Ohio State. <laughs> Iowa State. Baylor at Iowa State. Iowa State is favored by 11 and a half, and the over under is 45. Delaney, start it. Over. Sherm, what do you like here? Iowa State. Iowa State. Iowa State. Iowa State. Minus Iowa State. And a half. It. Iowa State minus 11 and a half. And that's the <laughs> rapid fire segment. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look up now one time. Crazy move by Sherman. Yeah. Baylor's his team. Well, I know. We, we all know. Uh, no, it's for the fans. We want to win money. Transformer. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to rip this uh, fan call-in segment presented by True Classic. The call-in segment is sponsored by True Classic. Boys, we all got True Classic on right up here. Simple, strong, true. True Classic. Taylor, talk about why you love True Classic so much. The reason why I love True Classic so much is because, yeah, there's days, there's weeks, possibly months, where you treat your body like an absolute sewage plant. And you just look in the mirror and you're like, what has happened to me? You pop on one of these shirts, it grabs the shoulders, grabs the arms a little bit, gives you a little buffer in the middle. It is one of those deals where you're like, hey, maybe we'll put the gun down today. Maybe we'll just keep this thing on for a couple of days and feel good about it. We can we can right our wrongs through the diet after that, but this shirt's gonna make me feeling good and feeling confident the entire time. Also, it actually makes you think too, like maybe I can have another blizzard. Yeah, these pants, dude. Look at this, super Damn. squat. Like that is. I got the True Classics on as well, and that's they, do, a, they are very mobile. That's and the thing is, is like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bait. Look at that ass. My God, that. So True Classic can do a lot for you, but it's not going to do just that for you. That's actually that's built by Compton right there. Very nice. These pants, I'm, I'm a big pants guy, especially with Spooktober. The I think they fit great. I like a tighter fitting pant, but also I don't want to be restricted in my movement. True Classic does it for me that way. Upgrade your wardrobe and save on True Classic at trueclassic.com. Let's rip this fan call in segment brought to us by the king himself, Grady Henningsen. Shout out to boy Grady. Let's rip the video. Grady. Fellas in the locker room. It is Spooktober, so you know what that means. The Boneyard is open. Nebraska is going to work this week versus Rutgers, but will Compton love you to death? 
We're not talking college, we're talking NFL this week with a three-leg parlay. Starting off, Jalen Daniels and the Commanders. That boy has been going to work. Rookie of the year, maybe even MVP conversation. I think they got the spread this week versus the Browns, followed by the Rams and the Packers. I think if we got Jordan Love in there and not Malik Willis, I think Matthew Stafford shows his veteran ability and they are going to cover that spread as well at home. Finally, we got the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. Kirk Cousins, love him to death. I think Baker Mayfield has got a fire lit up under him. Struggled a little bit in these in-between weeks after that very strong start. I think he's going to get right back to work, continuing to ground and pound and show Tom Brady who he really is as a quarterback. He's getting that spread as well with the Buccaneers. So that's a three-leg parlay. Let's get it this week, boys. I mean, Grady with the gravy. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, like, the gravy. I like Grady's energy there. And All he right. brought up something that we didn't talk about either is Tom Brady's comments to Baker Mayfield about yeah, stress. Yeah, yeah. Stress to you me is not that? having rings. Yeah, I saw that. And I feel like we talked about in the bus a little bit, but having that ability to put that chip on your shoulder when things are going well, having any sort of fuel, mm-hmm. I like that even more on the Bucks too. I know I took a, a number on that game, but I, I like the Bucks more and more. The only thing that worries me is the Rams. Rams Packers. Yeah, because even – it's like with Jordan Love back. Like, Jordan Love, he's – He didn't play well, though, that first one, though, though. But, bro, so. yeah, but he's, he's a great quarterback. He is a good quarterback. He didn't play well, though. Yeah, but that's his first – you know, he, he sprained that MCL. And who do what, do the Rams got a uh, Puka coming back? Who they what, no. Who, nah? Do no, they got uh, the out. Great White hype? Nope. Great White hope. I say hype. Who? It's because the hope is McCaffrey. Cooper Cup still injured, right? I is, like that. I like that. Yeah. Cooper Cup still. He's still injured. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that middle portion. Hey, but let, let's rock with Grady. Yeah, that's why. Let's rock with Grady. Since since you, you guys stuff never, all over his body, huh? He did have a lot of Nebraska, they, so I already never have. He's already bad anyway. He's already got The do. minute I saw the so, end on his head, I was like, Will's in. And then he showed me the corn shirt, and then I had to check the parlay. I was like, I don't think I saw Nebraska on there. <laughs> but I kind of rock. I'm going to ride with Grady. We yeah. haven't had anybody win yeah, yet. Yeah, let's go, Grady. We haven't had any, anybody win on the Call of Fame yet. He can be the gravy for us, man. Commanders to cover, top. minus three and a half versus the Browns. Ram to cover, plus three versus Packers. And Bucks to cover one and a half against the Falcons. That's your three-legged parlay from the boy Grady. Fels. Oh, and, and anybody who is watching and wants to be featured on the show, you take a selfie video like that and you submit it to info at bussandwtb.com. Your favorite parlay of the weekend could be college, could be NFL, could be a mix of both, doesn't matter. Submit it, info at bussandwtb.com. Fellas, hell of a show. A lot of fun. A lot of fun as well. Anything else to hit? Are we good? No, I'm glad you said it can be college too because I think uh, – Grady. Grady thought it was only NFL. We try to be clear in every video, but yeah, yeah. just for clarification, Remember. it could be either, either. Or it could be both. Either. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Make sure you're leaving comments. Pass around to your group chats. This is the locker room by the boys. For the boys.